As a mother, you want the best of everything for your baby, and you've chosen to breastfeed. Congratulations! Breastfeeding is always best. Mothers and healthcare providers agree that mother's milk provides the best nutrition for every baby, and many studies show that a mother's milk is uniquely formulated to meet the needs of each individual child. It's also the only food source with living cells to help your baby fight off illness or infection while also gaining weight appropriately. However, there may be times when you need to be away from your baby and will not be available to feed your baby directly from your breast. You're committed to breastfeeding. You want your baby to receive your breast milk when you're away, and you want to continue the breastfeeding relationship when you're together. The Kama feeding system was developed using evidence-based research on babies' natural feeding behavior so you can enjoy your breastfeeding bond longer. When you need to be away from your baby, switching easily between breast and bottle is an important consideration. Kama makes switching back and forth as easy as possible. Kama is intended to be used for feeding breast milk to healthy babies who were born at term. If you need to supplement your baby for medical reasons or are providing breast milk for a premature infant, please consult a lactation professional for assistance with establishing and maintaining your milk supply. Calma is a feeding solution designed exclusively for breast milk feeding. Calma was developed using evidence-based research on babies' natural feeding behavior so you can enjoy your breastfeeding bond longer. Switching from breast to bottle, and most importantly, back to the breast again, has never been easier. Kama looks different from other bottles and nipples because it is different. Your baby can continue to use the same natural feeding behaviors learned while breastfeeding. With Kama, your baby controls the flow of milk, just like when breastfeeding. Your baby can drink, breathe, and pause in a natural rhythm and can easily switch back to breast again. The Kama feeding system was designed exclusively for breast milk feeding. One of the ways it differs from other standard bottles and nipples is that the milk will only flow if your baby works and creates a vacuum to remove the milk. Kama does not passively flow like other bottles so baby can pause between sucking and breathing and can use breastfeeding behaviors to control the milk flow. After a pumping session, the breast milk can easily and safely be stored in the bottle. Kalma comes in one size that is suitable for the entire duration of breastfeeding. You can use the lid to protect and store your expressed breast milk or to keep Kama clean. With Kama, your baby controls the milk flow. Milk only flows when the baby creates a vacuum. Not every breastfed baby transitions easily to using a bottle. Learning to take a bottle is a process, and success rarely occurs on the first try. Some babies may become frustrated when they first try this unique feeding system, especially if they've tried other bottle nipples before. However, there are four basic steps in the process that can help ease the transition from breast to bottle and back to the breast again. It takes planning, practice, patience, and persistence. Let's look a little closer at these four steps. The first step in the process is to have a plan. Good planning makes every task go smoother, and this goes when offering comma to your breastfed baby. Planning involves gathering the items you need ahead of time and having them washed, filled, and ready to feed. One advantage of the comma feeding system is that it's the only bottle and nipple needed from the very first bottle until weaning. There are no different sizes or flow rates to worry about. One size is sufficient for the entire breastfeeding period, just as in nature. The flow, shape, and length of comma are designed to suit your baby's needs as your baby grows. Comma allows even the youngest babies to pause during their sucking and swallowing to breathe without choking on free-flowing milk. 
for the first couple of tries, start with just an ounce or so of milk to allow baby to get accustomed to using comma. Your baby may consume only a little bit of milk the first few tries with a bottle, so you want to begin by offering small quantities of your milk, just one to two ounces. Since comma is the only feeding system that uses your baby's unique breastfeeding behaviors, Medela recommends using only comma and no other bottle nipples when feeding your baby breast milk. It's best to wait until your milk supply is well established before introducing comma to your baby, typically around three to five weeks after birth. Older babies can be more resistant to taking a bottle if they have only ever been breastfed, so introducing a bottle between three to five weeks of age seems to be an ideal time developmentally for your baby to start learning this skill. Allow about two weeks of practice for your baby to get accustomed to the comma feeding system if you're returning to full-time work outside the home. When introducing the bottle, be sure to choose a time when baby is not frantically hungry. A fussy baby is not in the mood to learn any new skill, and you will both end up frustrated. For the first couple of tries with comma, it may be best to have someone other than you offer the first feeding. Many babies find it difficult to take a bottle if their mothers are anywhere nearby, especially if they can see you, hear you, or smell your sweet scent. However, if you would prefer to offer the first bottle yourself, try nursing on one side and then offer an ounce or two of pumped milk using comma instead of your breast for the second side. Infants are often pretty content after nursing on the first breast and may be more likely to take comma when offered. Having everything prepared ahead of time before baby gets very hungry usually results in a better outcome. Try looking forward to each opportunity to practice feeding and remember to stay positive. Your baby is learning and first feedings from anything other than your breast can be challenging. You've probably heard the old adage, practice makes perfect. Well, it may take several tries for your baby to become comfortable taking your milk from comma. Just like the first few breastfeedings after birth, learning to get milk from the comma feeding system is a new skill. Now it's time to practice. Allow some extra time for this new experience. Allow your baby to mouth the nipple and manipulate it as needed to get used to the feel of the comma nipple in order to adapt to getting milk from a source other than your breast. Hold the baby fairly upright. Place the nipple almost vertically on baby's lips. Tickle and wait. Allow baby to open the mouth, explore the nipple, and draw the nipple deep into his mouth. You can squeeze the bottle gently to start the milk flow. Hold the bottle at a 45 degree angle throughout the feeding and offer a small amount of milk. Allow your baby to pace the feeding and pause as needed. Make sure that you or your baby's caregiver are holding the baby upright and not reclining. This will make it easier for baby to handle swallowing and breathing. Some younger babies with a very strong suck may get more milk in a swallow than they can handle comfortably, causing them to gulp. If your baby gulps too fast, tilt the bottle forward so the milk drains out of the nipple. Also, try holding the bottle more parallel with the ground. This can slightly decrease the amount of milk a baby can suck in one swallow. Remember, if your baby becomes upset while trying to take the bottle, take a break before trying again. Crying babies should not try to drink from breast or bottle, as they are more likely to gulp down air than nurse effectively. Remember, it most likely took your baby a number of tries when first learning to breastfeed. It's helpful to hold the baby facing outward, or even sit the baby upright in an infant seat when feeding with the comma feeding system. Breastfed babies held in the cradle position often begin nuzzling around, thinking they are going to breastfeed, and may become frustrated when offered an artificial nipple instead of the breast they're expecting. If baby seems comfortable mouthing the nipple but hasn't started sucking, try gently squeezing the bottle to entice the suck reflex. This little trickle of milk alerts baby that milk comes from a bottle too. The baby is then rewarded with more milk when sucking starts and creates a vacuum. 
Try having realistic expectations when getting your breastfed baby to take your milk from Kama. It may take several practice sessions before it goes smoothly, and you may feel like you take two steps forward and then one back. Have patience. It takes time. Just like breastfeeding, learning to use Kama is a new skill for baby, and it takes practice and patience. Enjoy the baby steps and try not to rush yourself or your baby. Most babies eventually learn to drink from a bottle given adequate time and opportunity. Infants are quite intuitive, so if you're tense and frustrated, your baby senses this. Take a break to relax and try again later. If your baby doesn't take to using comma the first time, do indeed try again. A different day, a different time. Persistence is the key. When beginning with comma, remain positive and confident. Babies seem to know when you're anxious or hurried. Be prepared for your baby to reject the initial attempts to take the bottle. It's perfectly normal to try three or more times to achieve success. Sometimes babies will refuse to feed from comma if their mothers are anywhere around. You may have to leave the house for a while and allow a family member or your baby's care provider to introduce comma while you're away. Babies are smart. They can sense your energy and they know your sweet smell. They know they can breastfeed when you're around. Some babies are used to beginning breastfeeding with a great deal of suction to get mom's milk to flow. When they first try comma, their initial strong sucks create a strong vacuum. The milk flows out quickly and they may cough, sputter, and cry. Tilt the baby and comma forward and the milk will drain out. After a few tries with comma, they learn they don't need to suck so hard and they are able to control the flow. Some babies prefer that you warm the milk a little if you're not using freshly expressed milk. Sometimes just warming the nipple to take the chill off is enough to get baby to accept the nipple. You can also try squeezing the bottle to start the flow of milk to entice your baby to accept the comma nipple. A change of scenery is sometimes warranted if baby is particularly fussy. You may want to try again in a few minutes or another day. If your baby just plays with comma and takes a few sucks, that's okay. Praise the effort and celebrate the small successes. Since comma is different from any other bottle and nipple, here are some techniques specific to comma just in case your baby is hesitant to feed. Remember to let your baby lead the feeding. Tickle the lips and wait for the baby to grab and pull the nipple in. Avoid pushing the nipple into the mouth. Make sure that when baby is sucking, that the tip of the common nipple is pointing gently upward toward the roof of the mouth instead of straight down the throat. This can cause choking or gagging. Just like when breastfeeding, a strong stream aimed directly down the throat can cause a baby to pull off, cough, and gag. Some babies are used to beginning breastfeeding with a great deal of suction to get mom's milk to flow. When they first try comma, their initial strong sucks create a strong vacuum. The milk flows out quickly and they may cough, sputter, and cry. Tilt the baby and comma forward and the milk will drain out. After a few tries with comma, they learn they don't need to suck so hard and they are able to control the flow. To prevent milk leakage, practice attaching the nipple tightly to the base. Now let's review the four steps. Planning, practice, patience, and persistence are keys to success. When you plan, remember to wait until your milk supply is well established. But don't wait too long. An older baby may be more resistant to change. Begin introducing comma about two weeks before you need to be away from your baby. And give your baby plenty of time to transfer his natural skills at breastfeeding to successful feedings with comma. Comma is different from other bottles and nipples. The baby controls the flow with comma. Keep the practice session short. Just five to 10 minutes is enough. Offer the bottle once or twice a day until baby readily accepts your milk without difficulty. The baby will learn that milk flows only after active sucking begins just like when breastfeeding. Once baby is successful feeding with comma, you can offer a bottle feeding a couple of times a week to remind baby how it works.
Focus on the fact that your baby is learning with every attempt at using the comma. Have patience and praise your baby for each practice session. Hang in there and keep trying. Your baby will succeed. Don't give up. Be persistent and ask for help if things are not progressing with several attempts. And remember, continue to breastfeed whenever you're together. If you have a long day away from home, plan to breastfeed your baby last thing before you leave and first thing when you return. In the meantime, you can trust Kama to provide your breast milk while you're away so you can enjoy your breastfeeding bond longer. Switching from bottle back to the breast has never been easier.